I just built to go ahead and put it in this broom closet because we need more like organization in that area. And this is a really perfect size. I have gone to Target and they had one that was just two, but I was like, no, I need something taller so I can put more of the storage cubes in there and have more storage. So you can see it's pretty tall. I'll link this, oops. <laughs> I'll link this exact one that I got below for you guys, but this is where I'm gonna put it. And I'm gonna organize this entire thing. So this is the only area I would say that is not organized like whatsoever. I recently did go through in here and get rid of some things, but for the most part, it needs a little bit of organization. So up here, I need to get something to organize that stuff. And then this is where I'm going to put that tall thing. So I need to empty this out and figure out how I'm going to do all of this. So you can see there's still space on the side for me to put the broom, the vacuum, anything else that needs to go on this side. And then here I have two cubbies. I actually need to go get them from the mailbox. I bought two cubbies just like that one. And I can probably even put that one in here too and free up that space for other things. I can, yeah, I don't know. I'll figure it that out if i really wanted to i can probably even use a few of these to store makeup like i can store my makeup in this one if i really wanted to but i would have to find a way to organize that but for now i'm just gonna try to fit whatever's in that moving box the last moving box that we have see how i can organize that this i don't know this is all like memories stuff pictures and just random things so i don't know where i want to put that maybe i can put in darius's closet somewhere in the back so i can free up this space Most of the stuff that was in here was literally trash. I was storing that almost for no reason. Only thing that was in there that I really do need is that stuff. And then obviously these things and a few of like papers. I have this binder, but really all of that was junk. So now I can get the two other bins and put the printer paper in there, clear sheets, my Kenzie, I can probably stick in one of those. And then some of this paperwork can go in one as well. So it should be nice, clean, and organized. I'm going to get rid of this box right here. I just got back from Hobby Lobby and I got a few things. I was in there stuck because I didn't know what plant to get. And so I posted it on my story while I was at the store and a lot of people voted for this one, the palm one. And I thought it was going to be too green or too fake looking, but it's actually the same color as the one I got from Target. So it actually looks pretty realistic. I didn't even know. I went to Hobby Lobby and I thought they still did like the 40% off coupon. They don't do it anymore. So I ended up getting this one regular price for $120. So just a heads up, faux plants are expensive, obviously, because they last you forever. And then I ended up getting this pot. It was only $18.99. I'm kind of like, I kind of wish I would have gotten another one for this plant. 
I don't know if that would work though because it kind of looks like that one might be taller. I don't know. I'm going to see if I like it. I'll just go back tomorrow and get the other one. They also had a smaller version, but I just love this one, the brass. And then I got some faux flowers to replace. Um, I want to replace the pompous right here with flowers to make it a little bit more spring and bright. And we're working on replacing the table too. I just posted it on my Instagram story that we're selling it. So this won't be like too much white with the table if that makes sense. But I got four of these really pretty flowers. I may need more of them, but I did like this one. However, they only had one in store. So I'm going to look to see if maybe they have them online or if I can find it at another store. But I'm going to put it all together and then put it here. So it can look a little bit more vibrant. Just little things like that that I'm kind of gathering up. Oh, and I also got moss. So when I put the plant in here, I can cover it up and it can look more real. But just little things I'm getting to refresh the space. And right now what I'm about to do is paint this wall because if you can see, it's super dirty. I don't know why the people that painted in here did a matte finish on the wall on these walls and right here so if it comes in contact with anything that's dirty it automatically shows because it's a matte finish so i ended up getting paint and i got a satin finish so that way it's glossy and if anybody touches it with their feet or with their hands it doesn't get dirty and i got it in the color that I want to paint the entire apartment. I might be tempted to paint the entire apartment and I feel like that's what's gonna happen. Not the entire apartment, but at least the kitchen. For sure, the dining area. I wouldn't paint the ceiling though. I would just paint the walls, the dining area, and then in here because of the yellow. You can see that's like pure white. And then this is more of a yellow tinge. Kind of matches the couch and I don't really like that. So. We'll see how it turns out. I can't say No, I always got go. Playing house this ain't your home with my soul on the road. I can't say No, I always got go. Playing house this ain't your home with my soul on the road. I think that looks a little more realistic, right? Right, 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 right. So I had just opened a package and I used the paper that was inside there, just recycled it and used it underneath here so that the moss would actually stay up. And I think it looks good. All right, oh, it's the next day and I wanna show you what the paint looks like now. I do have the lights on because the lighting in our living room is trash until like 3 or 4 p.m. Then it comes in, but it looks a lot more white compared to, like for example, this wall over here. Obviously too, because the light's not hitting right here, but still, you can definitely tell the difference between this and the light socket and this. Like there's definitely a difference. So I did do one coat, but I accidentally bought this that's a little bit too long so i'm gonna go to home depot right now to get one that is actually the size i just kind of made it work last night but i do need to get another one and i'm gonna do a second coat and then it'll be completely done i'm still contemplating on whether or not i'm gonna do this side or if i'm just gonna leave it the only way i'm gonna paint this side is if we decide to paint the entire apartment because then you'll really be able to tell the difference whereas right here that you can't really really tell but the marks and the dirt is completely gone. So yeah. I was also cleaning out some stuff. I'm trying to, I guess, just spring clean and get rid of things that I'm not using. Just like stuff that 
I have been holding on to that I need to get rid of. For example, you guys saw earlier in the vlog that this right here is a lot more organized now too. But aside from that, I also have a bag full of empties. I don't really think people film empties videos nowadays. I don't know. I haven't really seen anybody post them. But that's what I'm going to do right now before I get rid of this box. Because ever since we lived at our other apartment, I have been, every time I finish up a bottle of something, I just save it so I can show you guys like what I've been using, things I've gone through that are completely empty that I'll tell you like whether or not I liked it. I'm like trying to adjust the camera, but there you go. That's a lot better. So I'm just gonna go through the bag cause I'm gonna go and recycle this stuff right now. And that way I can, cause I've had it gathered in my closet and that way my closet is a little bit more clear. So this is a Tree Hut Moroccan Rose Shave Oil. And this one I did really, really like. I love the smell. However, when it comes to shaving oils, I like it to kind of foam up a little bit, even though it's an oil. I just bought one from like this brand called Brazilian something at Target. And that one's an oil, but it still has a little bit of a foam to it. So it lathers a little bit and it actually stays on your legs. This one, I feel like I rub it on and it kind of slips on. It is a good shave oil, though. Don't get me wrong. It smells super bomb. But I went through it. I'll probably repurchase this one, too. I'm not going to lie. And then I've gone through quite a few body washes, too. I have a lot of body washes. This is probably the thing we go through the most in this house. The ones that we freaking love are these two brands right here so the olay body washes these are one of the only ones that actually linger on your body the scent just kind of sticks on you and it smells super good my favorite one is the rose water and sweet nectar this one is so good there's still like a tiny yeah this is by far my favorite one and then we also have the b3 complex sea salt scent this one's cute too. It has like exfoliating beads in it, but nothing beats the rose one. The rose one is super good. These are both completely empty and these we've repurchased over and over. Some of the bottles for the things that I've used, I've, I have gotten rid of accidentally, but for these for sure, we've tried just about every single scent. And another one that is my favorite is the Neutrogena Rain Bath. This one is a spa in a bottle you can use it for obviously as a like as a body wash you can use it for shaving i've used it for both and this huge one is from costco but they do sell the smaller ones at other stores i saw it at nordstrom rack too but if you want i think it's a better deal at costco if i'm not mistaken but this is like a huge one it lasts forever i need to re-up on these i had one in my bathroom darius had one in his he just finished his up I, we both go through body washes like crazy so i highly recommend rain, rain bath if anything like if you're looking for a new body wash this is the one it'll make your bathroom smell like you're at a spa seriously um and then another body product that i always go through is the nivea essentially enriched deep more deep nourishing serum lotion and obviously this is a body lotion this is like an og nivea has been around forever and i always have a bottle of this on deck i already have another huge one underneath the sink because this is probably one of my favorites i just don't like how i like how moisturizing it is and thick but i just don't like how thick it feels if that makes sense i wish i had the richness without it being so so hard to rub on you actually have to take your time and rub it in and let's be honest sometimes you get out of the shower and you're just trying to be quick put on a little bit of lotion something so lately i've been using more oils because most of the time i'm just kind of like trying to get out of the bathroom <laughs> but for the most part i'll rub a little bit of this on and i always like to have it because it's like the perfect lotion for getting a shine on your skin and actually being moisturized and then i have some hair stuff and then i have some skincare so the way leave-in conditioner i have two bottles of this in my bathroom because it's another one of those that i always just have to have this is a great 
it's not necessarily a detangler but it's good to put into your hair after you shower and you leave it in your hair obviously and it just adds a lot of moisture and it smells really clean and fresh all of the way hair care products smell similar but they all smell really good and then this is my go-to hairspray it doesn't really matter what like if it's unscented or the blue one or whatever just this hairspray is really good if you like hold but you don't want crispy flaky hair i don't know what it is about this hair this hairspray but i can go in with a lot of it and it'll tame my hair but it won't make my hair crunchy and that's kind of what i look for most of the time sometimes i do lately i've had a lot of little flyaways like right here i have a lot of breakage i think it's because of when i dyed my hair it's probably growing in when i was blonde i mean um it's probably now growing in and i have a lot of little pelitos on top but this kind of tames it however i do need a stronger hold hairspray for that or like a wax or something but this is good for let's say you're doing curls in your hair and your curls don't really like last on you all day and you want hold but you don't want your hair to be crunchy you can spray quite a bit of this on and it'll hold your curl without making it flaky and stuff and then this one's really good too this one was recommended by my hair colorist and i went through the whole entire bottle i always switch my skincare and my hair i'm always having different things on rotation but this was one that i went through and it's the huge bottle this is the miracle leave-in plus keratin from it's a 10. all of the it's a 10 deep conditioners are bomb so it helps with keratin straightening treatments increases styling manageability replaces lost protein protects natural keratin and hair protects against heat deep frizzes detangles it's just all the good stuff in this bottle and this is another brand that has kind of been around for a while that has always been highly recommended and then for skincare i have quite i have four different little skincare products this is the last of it for my mds but the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. I've been raving about this cleanser for years, even before it be, I know now it's like famous or big on like TikTok or Instagram Reels, like it's everywhere, but this has been my ride or die for a long time. Recently, I did switch up though, because I think this is what was called causing my flares right here, my eczema. I went to San Diego a few weeks back for my birthday weekend. And I was using this for, no, no, no. I hadn't been using this for a few weeks. I was using a different cleanser. And that weekend when we went on our weekend trip, I was like, let me just take my CeraVe because my skin was breaking out. And I was like, I know this won't do me wrong. And it'll kind of calm my skin down. So I took, I only took this cleanser with me. And when I put it on within like a few minutes, I was red and I was itchy and it was kind of burning. I don't know why I've been using this for years and it was just within the past few months that this started to flare up eczema on I me. Mean, I've never had eczema before. I I don't know. I really don't know and it makes me really sad because it's my favorite. I probably won't stop using it to be honest. I still have like two bottles in my like backup drawer and I still have one underneath the sink just in case. But I love this one for acne, for texture, for everything. But uh, I just have to know that if I use it, I'll probably have a flare up, which kind of is like, there's pros and cons to it, which is weird. I, I don't think they changed the formula either. I think my skin just over time is just changing. So I had to switch it up. But like I said, I'll probably still use it <laughs> once in a while. And then this CeraVe, hydrating micellar water this is really good it's like a lightweight it's a good step to do before your cleanser like if you have eye makeup remover or you want to break down your makeup and you don't want to use a balm or an oil you can go in with this on a little cotton round kind of get rid of that first layer of makeup or junk and then you can go in and do your cleansing this is a good like pre-cleanse or you can use it as your first step you should be double cleansing at least that's what i've been doing is double cleansing for like ever now but this can be your first step and then you can go in and cleanse so this is really good for like eye makeup anything like that the keels ultra facial cream another favorite of mine i have another bottle of this that i'm almost out of too but this one is so good it's a nice hydrating rich 
moisturizer that isn't heavy and oily on the skin and that's what i need because i do have oily skin so this one is another one of those that i kind of like always have on deck and then the ula hendrickson c rush brightening gel cream this has been a new favorite of mine if you like a glow to your skin before you put your makeup on or even if you're just going to be out and about and you're just going to be rocking your skin this is going to give you a really nice sheen and a really nice glow it does have vitamin c so it helps to brighten the skin but it gives you more of that glass skin look i've also heard good things about the eye cream i haven't tried it but this is another one that i also have underneath the sink just because again i always have things on rotation some days i'll use this one some days i'll use this some days i'll use the newer one that i have i'm always just switching things out so those are all of my empties all the empty products that i've been kind of saving up to show you guys let me know if you like this um i don't know about doing like dedicated empties videos a whole video on it but including it in vlogs seems a little bit more like laid back in my vibe so yeah that is everything my little bag is empty and now i can finally go recycle this stuff and my closet Ooh, my closet is clean. I went to Home Goods and I'm gonna film a haul, show you real quick what I ended up picking up. And some of these things I'm gonna keep, some things I'm not, but you can kind of see a theme here. I'm trying to brighten up our space a little bit more and incorporate more woods and brighter colors. So let me just show you real quick what I found. So. I mainly went in there, like I said, just more so looking for stuff to brighten up our home for spring and summer. I, uh, like you guys saw earlier in this vlog, right? It's a few days later, so I'm like, what did I even vlog? You guys saw earlier in the vlog that I painted the countertop area. It's not a pure white, it's Benjamin Moore Purely White, I think is what it's called. So I painted it that color, and then somebody sent me an app. I forget the name of the app, but it's not Task Rabbit. It's something similar where you can hire somebody to paint your house or to do something in your house. So I looked up somebody and I'm getting a quote to see if they can paint the living room and the kitchen. So once once they do, or if I end up doing it, I think I'll be able to incorporate the decor that I've really been wanting to incorporate in this place since it'll be a clean white slate. So um i got some white pillows because i did have white pillows in there when we first moved in and it just didn't look right because the um the couch is the same color as the wall basically so when i would put a pure white pillow it just looked off it looked too harsh and even when i put white curtains we have white and curtains in here and in the bedroom but for some reason in the living room it just doesn't work so i ended up picking these up hopefully they'll look better once i and if i decide to pay in there and these have a little pattern to them too and the key with pillows if you want to be able to chop your pillows and have them stay like this you have to get pillows that have feathers on the inside because if you get the pillows that have the foam material on the inside they'll stay like this and it's hard to chop and for the most part they don't stay so that's just a little tip but this came in a set of two this is almost like a cheetah not a cheetah print but it kind of gives me that that vibe these ones were i don't even know how much i paid for these 29.99 for a set of two and these are the brand textures for life we also got new pillows i've been looking for new pillows they didn't have a huge selection at the home goods well i went to a few different home goods but i only looked for pillows in one of them and they only had these and like this other brand so i just got these they they seem kind of hard but hopefully they'll be okay these are extra firm though but we needed new pillows so i got two of them and these were 24.99 so hopefully we like those along with that i also got some new pillow covers these supposedly are good for like allergies cooler sleep regulates your body temperature and it guards against dust and bacteria these are from the brand scotch guard they were 9 yeah 9.99 and then i kind of went cutting board crazy because the ones we have i just need to replace them 
I found this big one for $9.99. It's a pretty nice size. Not huge, but not tiny either. And then I found these. I kind of like these a little better just because of the color. They're a little bit lighter and less orange. But these are from the brand Market Finds. These were $9.99 also for the set of three. It's a little bit smaller, but it comes in a set of three. So one I can use for like if I'm cutting a lemon or the other one I can use for like larger stuff. And I really, I really like it. I don't know if I'll end up taking this one back and look for a lighter one. But I kind of like the mixture of color there. So pick these. And then flowers. I actually just got these out of our garage. I need to clean the vase. But I want to bring more flowers in since it is springtime. I do like to get real flowers and real plants. The plant we have in here is actually real. But I like to kind of mix it up. And so I got these for like the bathroom or just any area that we don't really pay a whole lot of attention to. But I do want it to look nice. This one was $16.99. Pots and pans. Surprisingly, I get so many questions when it comes to what pots and pans I use. I think it's because of the way that they're designed. They're from this same brand from Home Goods. It's called Masterclass. The ones that I have currently that I get questions about are black with speckled white dots. These are gray with speckled white dots so let me kind of you can see the little dots on there it's kind of like splattered paint so i really love it and then the handle is a wood so that's pretty and i didn't realize but these come in two different colored woods i'm not sure again if i want to switch it like is my ocd really that bad or <laughs> if i should just leave it but you can see the two different woods this is more of like a light gray wash and this is more of like a wood color so i kind of like this one a little bit more actually so i don't know i might try to see if they have a large one like this with the darker wood i didn't see any when i had gone but i'll check so this one is 29.99 perfect for soups or spaghetti anything of that nature or like boiling chicken or whatever this one was 12.99 this is a saucepan and these some come with lids some don't so you also have to be mindful like if you're going to be using this for something that requires a lid over it then obviously you want to make sure it's attached sometimes i tend to forget and then i'm cooking and i'm like i forgot to make sure it had it had a lid um this one was 12.99 and it's a little bit bigger and this one does not have a lid as you can see so it's about the same price as this one except this one has a lid and then i got one to grill chicken or burger patties because we do ours inside so this is perfect for that or anything that you need to grill veggies it does have those little lines and then this one was 16.99 so not bad either but i am trying to switch out all, all the ones that i have because they're black and i want to really brighten up the space for a while there i started to realize that I was starting to pick decor that was a little bit on the darker side but a lot of the interior in our kitchen and living room is dark we have dark brown wood flooring and i want to brighten it up and so and i love whites and stuff but i think i was steering away from it because you know a lot of people don't like white or not that they don't like white but they're always like why is it so white and bright that's what i like and i think i was steering away from it because I don't know why i guess i was like oh i don't want to keep it all white because i want to switch it up but i'm i'm noticing that that's just my style so y'all gonna have to deal with it i'm just kidding <laughs> um then i got this right here so this was one of the items i went to i think three or four different home goods because i was trying to look for more of this exact one so they did have some that were pretty much the same except the bin part was a pure white so this is what it looks like a bin where you can store papers or you know towels whatever you want to store in there but the reason i like this one is because again it has that speckled kind of paint splatter look to it it's not just a pure white item so i was trying to look for one that had the speckled gray dots on it and this was the only one at all of the ones that i had gone to maybe i will continue to look or i'll end up just getting an all white one this one was 12.99 not sure if i mentioned that but it's cute i really like it 
like the lid and then you can use it to store a lot of different stuff. This would be nice even to store stuff in the bathroom closet, like the linen closet. Speaking of bathroom closet, I got some fresh towels because I'm going to throw out or yeah, I'm going to throw out the ones that we have because we have a lot of mixed, mismatched ones. So I'm going to get rid of those and then I'm going to replace them with these. These were $7.99 so these are like face towels or body towels. They're from the brand Vera Wang and they're this kind of cool tone gray. There's a lot of dust. You guys probably can't see it but there's dust because all the little, the carpet and then the towels. Then I got these. These are hand towels. They also had body towels which were nice too but we already have quite a few. Last thing are these frames. So I just ordered. The reason I was going to different home goods was because I was looking for these frames in particular. So I found two of them at the first home goods that I went to and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to find seven, eight more of these, seven more of them. And so I was like, no, let me go to the different home goods that are around me. I went to like three more and only found one other one. So I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to find these for a while. And they're these frames here. This you would switch it out or I would switch it out for a photo of Darius and I probably. And I'm going to do a collage on top of the couch because you guys already know or some of you guys already know I have been having a hard time with really decorating and falling in love with the decor that I have in the living room. I just have these black and white paintings that they're just they're just there because I just kind of put it together and I haven't changed it and I don't love it honestly. I feel like that's why I don't really hang out in the living room because I'm not like 100%. So found these ones and I like them because of the wooden gray frame. But again, my issue is that I'm not going to be able to find these for a while at least not six more of them it was already hard to find three so these are pretty though but they're $16.99 they're from the brand six trees i did look online and i tried to find these exact ones but on their website for some reason they don't sell them retail so yeah but it kind of works out because i ended up finding these at michael's these are so pretty and I think it's going to add more contrast and warmth to our living room because everything in there is very neutral, which I like, but it needs something besides just black, white, gray, beige. And so adding metallic or gold is going to be really nice. I do wish these were a little bit more bronze because I just bought, I think I showed you guys too, the plant where I have the palm tree plant. The vase is more of a bronze metal so that would be pretty and then the legs on our kitchen dining chairs those are also bronze but i think this still would look pretty once it's all put together and these what i like too is that i could even leave this in there if i wanted to and i could leave it in there until i print out the photos or if i don't end up liking the way the photos look in here i can always leave this in there and it looks like art so love these and i got two of them at my local store but i ordered seven more because i'm gonna do a total of like nine three 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 i ended up finding seven more online and i'm gonna do a pickup order right now actually but i wanted to get them asap because they were on sale these are originally uh 39.99 and they were on sale for 19.99 so I was like, I need to order these ASAP, <laughs> but that's what I got from Home Goods, and I'm excited to slowly kind of spice up the space and spruce it up for the spring and the summertime and just switch things out. Um, and I'm gonna go through my bins in my garage too to pull out some things and see what I can switch out. And that way it kind of gives me a change of scenery in our house too, because I get tired of, I mean, all of us probably get tired of looking at the same thing over and over, but that's what I got. I'm about to take the tags off all this stuff, put it to wash, and throw these in the dishwasher and all that good stuff. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this haul and just kind of a home update, just random things I'm doing around the house. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you all in my next vlog or in my next video.